really about focusing on smaller, portable, and powered products for Yamo. As we move into our second year, um, there's going to be a variety of solutions that focus on high design. We think it's really critical. Um, and we also think that mid-century, which is, which is very popular around the world, is not just mid-century American design, but mid-century design in general. The Studio 8 series is an extraordinary evolution of one of the most successful box speaker lines that, that Coach Oriyama has uh, ever designed. Um, we will also introduce our first all-in-one sound bar, and of course that means just that, no, no silver required. Um, with Yamo also we've elevated design and dynamic performance with the landscape series. We think it's one of the fastest growing areas. Uh, both Klipsch and Yamo will continue to expand in those categories and make sure that they're also incorporated into the Klipsch ecosystem, Klipsch Yamo ecosystem. With the uh, elevation speaker, the ATM50 will bring Yamo into the Atmos world. As most of you know, uh, receiver manufacturers are adding Atmos and it's gonna be um, a really, uh, we think it's gonna be a great growth area. Um, uh, Klipsch was, on the Klipsch side, we work very closely with Dolby and, uh, and, and Dolby's been great in working with bringing Yamo into that as well. And we think that the Klipsch Yamo <coughs> combination um, is gonna make for a really strong package. Um, I think, let's see what we have up here now. The smaller, uh, on the compact side, one of the things that we've done with Yamo as well is we've gone back to some of the great products in the past, except we're making them smaller, we're making them powered, we're making them more accessible, and you will see those in our booth as well. Um, I guess last but not least, over the next year, um, starting with our presence at CES, you will see a commitment on the side of Cliff and Yamo for high resolution, high performance, premium audio. We haven't forgotten how we got here. We haven't forgotten the fun that you can have with this. And it's one of the most satisfying, gratifying things that I would say is that um, it wasn't people my age that brought high performance audio back. And anyone that's in the business knows that um, the vinyl records sold more this year than in the past 25 years. And it's kids that brought it back. It's the discovery. You know, when you compress audio and you put it in headphones, the social experience is completely gone. When you find that great piece of vinyl, you put it on a great audio system, you can share it with your friends, and it's great to see that kids are the ones that are driving that. I think that it says a lot about our future. And with that, I'm gonna turn it over to uh, Tom Malone, and I uh, look forward to seeing everyone uh, at our booth.